I've always tried to be as um, empathetic with patients as I can, but having had my parents have these problems recently, and especially my mom being in the hospital for three months, the more we as doctors can help patients and family know uh, what's going on, understand what's going on, know that they have some control, and um, can help to make the decisions about their own diseases themselves. Um, it was very humbling to be on the other side, and, uh, and helping patients through this process is uh, one of the most important things that doctors can do. The group of patients that come to us are so varied. We see everything from um, super serious things like colon cancer and esophageal cancer to things that are not as um, serious, but certainly very um, troublesome for the patient. Fecal incontinence is a problem that I see. I have a, a big interest in this. And for women who have fecal incontinence, it changes every day of their life. But it's not something that's talked about very much. People don't um, speak about it even sometimes to their own sisters or their friends. Uh, but if they did, they'd find that many people had it as well. And usually we can make people feel better, yeah. I've been here for 15 years, and even before we were called Team Medicine, it felt like we were such a part of the team. And um, in fact, my husband, who also started out in private practice, I was so impressed with Virginia Mason that now I brought him along, and he's been here now for seven years. Colonoscopy, I cannot stress how important colonoscopy cancer, colon cancer screening is for patients. It is one of our only cancers that we can find as a polyp before it actually grows bigger and changes into cancer. And colon cancer screening and finding polyps and taking polyps out is a very, very satisfying part of a gastroenterologist's life.